generally uh, three types okay three types of meristems were observed in plant body okay that is apical meristem intercalary meristems apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem okay apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristems okay all these are meristems okay meristems types okay next first intercalary meristems okay intercalary meristems okay <clears throat> see here intercalary meristems okay before meristems we studied uh, interaction that is the terms what is that term proposed by carl nageli meristem term proposed by nageli okay greek word to divide greek word to divide this is a plant tissue okay the what is the nature of meristem is shows rapidly dividing okay rapidly dividing and give rise various organs give rise various organs assist in plant growth okay assist in plant growth composed of differentiated mass of cells okay different types of cells are participated development of plant body that is differentiated okay next characters main characters of a uh, meristematic tissue okay composed of rapidly dividing cells okay that is the main character of main character of meristematic tissue okay composed of rapidly dividing nature next undifferentiated size and shape of cells various cells shape of cells varies okay undifferentiated different types okay shape and size and cells more or less isodiametric okay see right side isodiametric uh, cells more or less isodiametric that is so type what is isodiametric that is type means size different size okay <clears throat> okay sir next contain dense granular cytoplasm okay meristematic tissues shows cytoplasm okay granular which type of cytoplasm that is granular type of cytoplasm okay next into intercellular space generally absent means without without intercellular space okay winter intercellular space means students intercellular space means cell to cell in between the gap okay that is space intercellular space okay meristematic tissues shows different types of cells and uh, <clears throat> idioblast cells and sclerites all are shows some spaces but meristematic cells without space or without intercellular space okay that is a uh, main character of meristematic tissue next cell wall composed of primary cell wall okay the so cell wall shows three layers okay that is primary layer middle layer secondary layer 
ओके मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट प्लांट मेटीरियल सेलुलोज हेमी सेलुलोज पेक्टिन ऑल दीज आर सेलवाल मेटीरियल ओके सेलवाल कंपोज ऑफ प्राइमरी टाइप मीन फर्स्ट लेयर दट इज प्राइमरी टाइप ऑफ सेलवाल नेक्स्ट पिट्स ओके शोस पिट्स फील्ड्स ओके मेरिस्टमैटिक टिश्यू शोस सम पिट्स ऑन द अपर सरफेस ऑफ द प्लांट बॉडी और सेल सिस्टम नेक्स्ट लिमिटेड अमाउंट ऑफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ओके लिमिटेड ओके लिमिटेड अमाउंट ऑफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ओके जनरली एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम वेर इज लोकेटेड इन द सेल जेंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम लोकेटेड नियर नियर टू द न्यूक्लियस आर सराउंडेड सराउंडेड टू द न्यूक्लियस दट इज सॉरी न्यूक्लियस दट इज एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ऑलरेडी टू टाइप्स वी नो एंडोकॉलमिक रेटिकुलम टू टाइप्स रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ओके स्टूडेंट्स यर लिमिटेड ओके सराउंडेड बाय लिमिटेड अमाउंट ऑफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम प्रेजेंट ओके जनरली एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम लोकेशन सराउंडेड Are near to the nucleus. That is endoplasmic reticulum. Here, very limited. Okay, very limited type of endoplasmic reticulum. Next, plastids. In the proplastid stage, means starting developmental stage of plastids. Okay, plastids contain. different types of cellular material that is storage body storage body is called plastids next internal structure of mitochondrial chondria less elaborate okay mc mc mitochondria here less elaborate okay what is the main function of uh, mitochondria Fun power release the power. Ah yes, power houses of cell. That is the main function of mitochondria. Here, let's elaborate to endoplasmic material. Endoplasmic, sorry, mitochondria is less elaborate to. Okay, low amount of mitochondria. Okay, next. already discussed three types of meristematic tissue that is uh, apical meristem second intercalary meristems and lateral meristem all these are meristematic tissue types based on position of meristem based on position of meristem okay for example apical meristem apical meristem is found at the terminal parts of the growing plants or shoot that is apical meristems and growing roots root tip starting that is made up of apical meristem apical meristem next intercalary see here diagrammatic representation also there here okay that is apical meristem okay shoot apex and root apex okay shoot apex root apex both are made up of apical meristem okay end part okay our terminal part of the plant shoot apex and root apex both are made up of apical meristem apical meristem next intercalary okay 
intercalary intercalary meristems okay intercalary meristem where is located nodes and internodes nodes and internodes okay next final that is uh, lateral lateral type of uh, meristematic tissue lateral meristematic tissue okay found to the axis of the origin okay which they are in uh, vascular uh, structures and cambium okay vascular structures and cambium that is the uh, third type lateral meristem okay next functions okay function apical meristem main supported to the increase length at tip that is the main function of apical meristem that's why plant body gradually increased day by day shows growth the growth effect okay shows growth effect that is <clears throat> main property of meristematic tissue that is apical meristem apical meristem support growth and development increase the length increase the length at tip level that is root tip root tip and shoot tip root tip shoot tip second intercalary meristem okay intercalary meristem that is the main main function is increase the length between nodes and internodes nodes and internodes between the nodes and internodes okay that is the increasing length both nodes okay that is intercalary meristem see here intercalary okay next lateral meristem okay lateral meristem main function is uh, diameter increase increase the diameter of the stem okay that is the main fact main effect of this meristem that is inter sir lateral meristem the main function is increase the diameter okay size size increased okay see here okay first one is shoot apex or shoot apex or apical part that is made up of meristems okay in bud okay apical meristem shows in bud condition okay next root root cap level that is root apical meristem okay root apical meristem and shoot apical meristem both are apical cells or apical meristems rapidly dividing nature that's why growth growth and development shows okay plant body shows growth and developments by the effect of apical meristem up and down okay apical side and root side okay see that is the end part of root and end part of shoot both are made up of apical meristems okay <clears throat> next ah <clears throat> meristematic tissue first apical meristem see here clear picture is there okay upside apical meristem pods is there lower side root tip tip pods next it occurs at the tip of stem root and leaves also okay leaves 
also composed one or more cells epicardial system composed of one or more cell okay generally presented or located at growth tips that is root tip and shoot tips already we have discussed okay also called epical cell and epical initial epical cell and epical initials okay epical meristem is terminal okay means top body or top part of the plant body that is terminal in stem and subterminal in roots okay next number of epical cell varies different plant group okay next gymnosperms angiosperms have group of cells okay that is the late apical meristem characters next second lateral meristem characters the lateral meristem character parallel to the organs okay see here figure upside or upper upper side apical meristem and down side above the below the apical meristem that is intercalary intercalary below the lateral meristem okay it help increase the diameter of the plant body we know already the divided in one play one plane that is periclinal plane periclinal plane uh, division shows different types of plant body that is vascular cambium and carco cambium next third type intercalary okay this is the permanent tissue of meristems okay where is located in between two nodes okay next they are not typical meristems commonly found in internodes of vascular plants okay also in leaf sheath grasses okay all are not typical meristems Pres present just above the node of equisitums okay this is the information of intercalary meristem see here the diagrammatic representation also there okay nodes okay one two three see third stem first stem sto shows short okay that is zone of elongation and intercalary meristem second stem increased third stem uh, increased fully okay that is nodes okay nodes and internodes are here increased fully okay next theories okay some theories proposed by different scientists regarding uh, apical cells and apical meristems apical meristems okay three types of theories three types of theories proposed by different scientists they are nageli carl nageli hanstein uh smid okay nageli hanstein smid proposed different theories in among these three first one is apical cell theory agrakana siddhantamu apical cell theory uh, proposed by nageli okay in apical cell theory apical cell produce as plant body apical cells uh, produce has total plant body okay proposed carl nageli according to apical cell apical cell produce total plant body that is apical cell uh, apical cell theory okay next one 
second one histogen histogen theory okay histogen theory proposed by hanstein on hanstein 1868 histogen theory okay and apical cell theory 1878 that is that is apical cell theory 1878 and histogen theory 1868 okay histogen theory uh, proposed by hanstein okay hanstein uh, next hanstein 1868 according to histogen theory angiosperms shoot embryo studied angiosperm shoot and embryo studied uh, in dermatogen dermatogen give rise a epidermis and periblum periblum give rise a cortex okay next pleurom pleurom give rise a stellar region histogen theory proposed by hanstein hanstein proposed three types of layers of plant body in angiosperms angiosperms roots and embryo studied root and embryo studied okay root and embryo studies in histogen theory according to histogen theory three zones proposed histo hanstein proposed three zones okay every three zone is responsible for three types of layers formed okay that is dermatogen periblum pleurom dermatogen give rise epidermis pleurom cortex periblum sorry periblum cortex pleurom uh, star uh, stellar region okay central region vascular region pleurom give rise a stellar region uh, that is uh, histogen theory next smith okay smith theory that is tunica corpus theory okay tunica corpus theory proposed by smith 1924 okay according to smith the embryo produce outer layer inner layer hmm? outer layer is tunica and inner layer is carpus okay outer layer one or more layer form a one or more layer inner layer form a zones and anticlinal divisions anticlinal divisions undergoes anticlinal divisions okay leads to growth and volume of plant body okay this Tunica corpus theory. Okay, it is Tunica corpus theory. Okay. These three theories are very important about examinations. Okay, all these are three theories, important theories. Okay, next tissues. Okay. Tissues and tissue system. Okay. Tissues and tissue systems. Okay. Generally, tissue systems. Okay. We know tissue system generally two types that is simple tissue system and vascular tissue system are complex or complex tissue system vascular complex 
tissue system okay vascular tissue system first vascular tissue sorry simple tissue system okay simple tissue system okay generally tissue contain different cells okay cells shows different cell organelles okay one cell contain one nucleus okay nucleus is a center position of the cell okay cell filled with cytoplasm okay cytoplasm contain different cell organelles okay that is lysosome glyaxisomes mitochondria and uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum and uh, golgi complex uh, mitochondrias okay Vas vacuoles all are present in cell okay that is the main main uh, cell organelles in the cell okay all cells are form a cell system form a cell system or tissue system that is two type simple tissue system complex tissue system okay first simple tissue system okay simple tissue system again three types that is parenchyma tissue okay soft tissue okay parenchyma tissue simple tissue second one colon chyma tissue okay third one that is sclerenchyma hmm? that is sclerenchyma these three are belongs to simple tissues okay parenchyma again five types that is chlorenchyma okay and erenchyma storage parenchyma water storage parenchyma and lastly idioblast idioblast type of parenchyma all these are parenchyma tissue types okay parenchyma again five types that is chlorenchyma erenchyma storage parenchyma water storage parenchyma and idioblasts idioblast parenchyma tissues okay chlorenchyma okay chlorenchyma tissues chlorophylls contain different types of pigment color pigments that is called chlorenchyma the type of tissue shows green color tissues that is chlorenchyma next erenchyma okay erenchyma tissues filled with complete air okay that's why tissues are sub uh, floating on the water okay water body plants okay water body plants made up of air and chyma tissues icaria pistia uh, that is uh, the type of plant body made up of this type of tissue that's why the the type of plants are floating on water okay that is air and chyma okay that is air and chyma okay the good example hydrophytes for example okay next storage parenchyma okay storage parenchyma we know the ty different types of uh, rhizomes okay rhizomes completely filled with glucose okay say so, carbohydrates okay that type of uh, cells is called storage okay tuber roots okay 
tuber roots completely filled with storage or different types of materials that is the good what main nature is storage okay roots made up of uh, are converted into storage roots okay for example curcuma and um what is that different types of uh, rhizomes rhizomes filled with different types of materials that is storage type of parent chyma storage type of parent chyma amorphophallus a good example amorphophallus is uh, shows storage type of uh, rhizomes next water storage water storage type of parent chyma means different types of xerophytic plants xerophytic plant shows this type of uh, tissue that is uh, water storage okay mm, what <coughs> aloe vera and uh, different types of uh, xerophytic plants cactus okay cactus also okay all the uh, xerophytic plants shows inside water okay inside water the type of tissue is called water storage parenchyma type water storage parenchyma types next tissue last that is important idioblasts okay idioblasts parenchyma tissues contain tannins mineral substances mineral substances that is myosins and oil substances mucilaginous substances okay resin substances okay all these are the uh, substances are filled in idioblast cells okay for example uh, resinous substances meliaci rutaci rubiaci family plant shows this type of idioblast cells next mucilaginous substances many monocotyledons malvesi and cactaceae cactaceae means xerophytic plants all types of xerophytic plants shows this type of parenchyma tissue idioblast tissue okay <clears throat> these cells are different size and structure okay idioblast cells are shows different sizes and structures these cells are specialized very specialized cells that is called idioblast cells idio means in greek peculiar or special special type of cells that is idioblast cells idioblast cells storage Uh, that is tannins minerals myosins oil mucilaginous okay and uh, uh, resinous substances all are completely filled in idioblast type of parenchyma tissues next uh see here parenchyma cells okay that is the primary wall okay very soft type of tissue shows pits okay pits also there here next parenchyma cells see here different size and some intracellular spaces next colenchyma okay see here parenchyma tissues are very soft tissue and equal in size almost next colon chyma tissue okay very hard tissues colon chyma see colon chyma cell walls hard type of tissues colon chyma cells again three types okay that is angular colon chyma tissue and lamellar lamellar colon chyma tissue lacunar colon chyma type of tissue okay colon chyma cells usually have primary wall 
that are thick in corner okay primary wall thick in corners is colon chyma next hmm colon chyma okay colon chyma tissues okay next angular and uh, lamellar angular lamellar okay angular thickening of the wall is mostly uh, confined to the corners or angles of the cells example petioles okay petioles of cucurbita bignonia coleos okay all these and stems of nicotiana solanum datura all these are shows angular type of colon chyma angular type of colon colon chyma okay next lamellar this type shows thickening on the tangential walls than the radial walls okay example stem cortex okay next next sclerenchyma steren sclerenchyma cells have very thickness type of cells okay that is sclerenchyma sclerenchyma again three type four types again four types that is uh, sclerites blocky sclerites macro sclerites and astro sclerites all these are very hard type of tissues hard type of tissues for example macro sclerites are rod cells rod like or columnar shape cells that is micro sclerites okay macro sclerites where is located seed coats seed coats of fabaceae pea bean okay all these are macro sclerites micro sclerites next uh, different types of astro sclerites okay astro sclerites star shaped type of sclerites occur in the petiole and leaves okay astrosclerites occur in petioles and leaves example sea leaves and lotus leaves okay lotus leaves trichodernon next trisclerites these are elongated hair like trichomes okay elongated hair like trichomes okay some are branched okay example aerial roots of monstera and leaves of olea okay leaves of olea all these are sclerites and sclerenchyma tissue okay this is the inside sectional cutting of the vascular bundles right typical of <coughs> edicots okay sclerenchyma tissues already we are studied okay some are sclerenchyma shows some are fibers fiber tissues okay long thread like type of cells is called fibers okay that is fiber cells next complex tissues are vascular tissues vascular bundle type of tissues that is called xylem and phloem xylem and phloem that is vascular types of tissue xylem and phloem okay <clears throat> next xylem the main function of xylem is conduction of water okay mineral Sir, conduction classification Hello? of fibers uh, are uh... not important 
ah no need fiber c is enough okay i will tell you later okay okay lattifers also there sir lati lattifers ah lattifers also there okay yes. after that ah. we are having xylem what after that two topics we are having xylem and phloem sir okay lattifers tissues also sorry fibers also there no worry i will explain all okay, okay. that okay. is uh, belongs to xylem tissues or uh, xylem type of fibers okay economically fibers most important okay made up of different types of threads okay fibers are two types hard and soft fibers also okay okay sir. hard and soft okay. fibers okay it the main content that is lignin fiber main contains contains what is that lignin lignin ah lignin lignin is the main content of fiber that's why fibers are uh, very hard okay <clears throat> hard fibers are from monocotyledons okay kitanara you know telugu kitanara agave agave americana sisal okay spanish moss moss next soft fibers that is hemp okay hemp cannabis sativas and jute okay ibiscus cannabis all these fibers are very important are useful for the human activities in agriculture in different types of ground level sectors okay fibers very most important in uh, first chapter okay fibers provided what is that mechanical strength okay mechanical strength strength to the plant body okay plant body mechanical strength to the plant body okay that is the fibers importance okay, okay next latiferous tissues also we are uh, uh, studying now latiferous very uh, huge economical importance is there okay that, that is very a liquid type of uh, latex produced or secreted by different types of plants okay latiferous type of tissues shows different plants okay that is internal secretions of plant body okay internal secretions of plant body that is called latex okay latex okay that is latiferous tissue is produced okay then on latiferous tissues generally two types that is uh, uh non articulated latiferous and articulated latiferous okay non articulated latiferous uh, single types of cells arises from some of the meristematic tissues of embryo embryonic stage okay that is non articulate latiferous okay main example is nerium oleander nerium oleanders and uh, ketaranthus ketaranthus produce non articulated type of latifer latiferous tissues and uh, liquids next articulated this is these are compound okay compound in that is developed from a series cells cross wall breakdown completely or parent um, partially okay the main function of uh, articulated li- uh, latifers is a uh, nutritive value in the plants and uh, contain metabolic by products all these are metabolic by products and nutritive value in the plant latex is considered to be a uh, reserve material latex is reserve material okay all these are the articulated uh, latiferous tissues in part uh, functions next many economic importance also here that is uh, different types of plants also there mainly uh, rubber family of 
super bac rubber family produce hevea brasiliensis hevea brasiliensis belongs to super bac family hevea brasiliensis produce rubber that is called para rubber okay okay 30% of rubber they are obtained from hevea brasiliensis okay next pepper somniferum opium opium this is, this is also one of the medicinal value plant next gatta gatta parcha pallakpem gatta okay next uh what is that sapota akra sapota okay also used in the preparation of chewing gums okay all these are economically important in latiferous tissues okay next okay sir. complex tissues that is xylem and phloem xylem is the main important part in a uh, vascular system that is xylem the second important a tissue system is phloem both are very important in plant vascular system first one we are studied xylem okay what is the main function of xylem minerals and water okay conduction of minerals and water and giving mechanical support to the plant okay mechanical support okay xylem composed of different kinds of elements that is the tracheary elements okay tracheary element means uh, tracheids and vessels next fibers and uh, wood parenchyma rays okay wood parenchyma rays see here xylem uh elements that is tracheids vessels xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma xylem parenchyma tracheids generally shows long and tubular dead cells okay valves full uh, lignified valves and opening ends okay that is the tracheid condition long tubular dead cells lignified Sorry, valves what is that your voice Hello? is not clear sir now okay hello yes sir that is the yes sir it is coming okay next xylem vessels okay vessels also shows long tube tubular structures okay valves also here lignified okay all uh, xylem vessels occur in flowering plants okay more efficient than tracheids all are participated in the conduction of water see here vessels all these are vessel shows uh, some pores okay pores also there and perforation plates okay beside vessels appearing we are observed we are observing uh, fibers okay next xylem fibers okay beside the vessels okay all fibers are sclerenchyma fibers found in xylem okay these are thick pitted walls narrow lumen opening ends okay fiber shows empty space that is called lumen lumen okay empty space that is called lumen next functions of xylem already uh, discussed that is conduction of water and minerals from root to, to the top of plants okay and movement is unidirectional top to top bottom to top okay down to up provide mechanical strength okay because the occurrence of thick walled lignified components that is what is that tracheids fibers wood parenchyma rays okay all these are lignified components 
okay wood is mostly made up of xylem next a phloem okay phloem the main function of phloem is uh, conduction of food material okay conduction of food material okay that is the main uh, function of phloem conduction of food material from leaf to all parts of the plant body okay uh, phloem also composed of different types of elements that is sieve elements okay sieve elements means sieve cells sieve tubes okay both are combinedly called sieve elements next companion cells okay here newly joined companion cells next in uh, xylem not showed companion cells only so fly of phloem shows companion cells and phloem parenchyma phloem fibers okay phloem parenchyma phloem fibers and phloem rays all these are complex tissues of phloem inside element okay sieve tubes sieve tubes elongated living tubular conduction channel conducting channel just like a tracheids okay here have a vacuolated cytoplasm nucleus degenerates degenerates cytoplasmic strands are continuous between adjacent sieve tubes okay composed of sieve cell uh, very located near to sieve tubes okay see here this is sieve element sieve elements contain sieve tube and uh, sieve cells okay sieve tubes and sieve elements okay the sieve tube shows companion beside companion cells and uh, outside or uh, surface of the tube or sieve element shows some perforation areas or pores okay next adjacent part is companion cells okay companion cells also very near to the elements what is that sieve element or sieve elements okay next companion cells very near to the sieve elements means sieve cells and sieve tubes okay see companion cells these are thin walled small elongated structures okay has dense cytoplasm nucleus okay nucleus control the sieve tube and the keeps them living see here companion cells okay all these are companion cells okay attached to the sieve tube this is companion cell okay rod shaped tubular shaped elongated okay cytoplasmic strands continuous between adjacent sieve tubes okay that is sieve uh, companion cell next phloem parenchyma okay parenchyma present in in phloem okay in xylem also thin walled and living cell living cells the main function is parenchyma storage and slow lateral conduction of food okay always parenchyma tissue function is storage next fibers again here also fibers is there that mm, here non living component okay phloem fibers non living okay here thick walled elongated okay elongated means long and spindle shape type of fibers okay dead cells all fibers are shows lumen and made up of dead cells okay the main function of fibers providing mechanical strength to the plant body or tissues okay next phloem function we know transport the organic food through plant throughout the plant or leaf to all plant body conduction can occur both direction in phloem in xylem only unidirectional conduction 
in flow m shows both ups and down ups and down side conduction that is you both directions conduction occur in both in xylem only unidirectional okay condition flow m fibers of some plants are source of commercial fibers that is due to hemp all are commercial fibers next here differences xylem and flow m differences okay conduction both xylem and flow m participated here food material here organic solute solutes are food material hello students hello hello sir yes sir okay so first chapter over next second and third fourth units uh, we'll discuss tomorrow class okay okay sir okay now time up tomorrow i will discuss remaining parts okay 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 sir. thank you sir yes sir thank you thank you sir okay right, right. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Sir, mm -hmm. how many days class will be continue, sir? Ah, uh, already study center or university sending na timetable to your mail or you or upload a main uh, your website. So yes, seen? sir. Only two today's days. timetable is uh, they send. Sir. Only. Only two today's timetable they send. Two days. Yes. Ah. This, today timetable they only send sir okay tomorrow timetable they send tomorrow okay okay, okay. maximum 18th maximum 18 6 hours ah 6 6 hours from 6 class 6 classes is there no worry okay. okay i will cover all topics all important okay, okay. Ah, yes sir okay, all sir. important topics i will covered okay okay, okay. sir Okay, okay, some of the not important uh, uh, topics leave na. Okay, no worry. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, maximum I will cover, but if time is permitted, I will cover all. But uh, we have uh, less classes na. Only yes, three, sir. four. That's why I will cover important mainly first. Okay. Okay. If sir. time is permitted, I will cover remaining also. Okay. I'm yes, sir. That's fine. That's okay. why I'm not forgetting. Lot of questions is there now, sir. So I am asking some. No worry. I am. I am discuss important <laughs> questions regarding examination. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Remaining questions is there. I am not forgetting. If time is permitted, that will also discuss. Okay. But main our main our main uh, topics is important topics. Yes, okay? sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You don't yes. worry. Hmm? Okay, okay, sir. So Thank. So topic is missing. So and so topic is not covered. Hmm? The type of questions is uh, arise na. Okay. Okay, that is uh, not important. That's why I'm leaving. Okay. Okay, okay sir. If time permitted, uh, lastly I will cover, and that's why we are oh. uh, maintain time na. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, okay. sir. Thank right. you. Okay. Right. 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 Okay, we will meet uh, on tomorrow same time. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, bye.
ఈనాడా ఇప్పుడు ఈనాడా క్లాస్ చెప్పేది హైదరాబాద్ హోస్టల్ ఉంది మనోళ్ళు వర్లీనా